This game recap is brought to you by Manscaped's Foot Duster Foot Deodorant. Say goodbye to stinky foot funk with this essential deodorant spray. Head over to manscaped.com and use the promo code SACCITY for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. The Foot Duster Foot Deodorant by Manscaped. The best protection any place below the waist. The next game on our list, it is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers finally getting a win over the New Orleans Saints 20 to 10. Tom Brady gets his first win against the New Orleans Saints, uh, his first win as a Buccaneer against the New Orleans Saints. This game, uh, the chatter of this game will really all come down to the the fight between Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore. We discussed that in the uh, earlier parts of the show. If you did miss that, I mean, do you want to touch back up on that at all? Your thoughts on that? Your recap? No, on? no, I, I don't. Right. I don't want to care. I don't care to talk That's about fair. fights in this. I want to talk fair. about the game. That's fair. In this game, though, Tom Brady. I mean, it still seemed like this was the kryptonite for Tom Brady. He only was eighteen of thirty-four, one hundred ninety yards, a touchdown, zero interceptions. It was a very, I'd say, almost a pedestrian game from everybody on on the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette had a, a pretty good day. Um, but I think I want to talk more about the saints and did you say Leonard Fournette had a good day? He He played like crap. He had, I mean, he, out of, out of everyone on the saints, if you look at, I, I, or everyone out of the, out of the, um, he, bro, he ran 24 times for 60 yards. Yeah. He was, he was, did nothing yesterday, but out of all the players for the bucks, I mean, he really statistically i guess you could my player of the game let's just get into it then let's just get into it then because just so i can defend myself i did pick mike evans as my player of the game just because of not all we'll we'll get into it we'll uh, we'll get into it then mike evans is my player of the game three receptions 61 yards statistically not a bad day but that fight that fight you know i think that was the turning point of this game i think that fired up the bucks and that's how they ended up getting the win. Because what? What was the what was the score at that point? Uh, it was what three nothing at that point when the fight happened. And then all of a sudden the fight goes down, and Tom Brady wakes up, and this offense wakes up, and they get they get the dub. I mean, they go to Brashad Perriman for a touchdown, which you somehow had high hopes for Brashad Perriman in this game. What do you mean somehow? Like I. <laughs> What do you mean somehow? I do know the game. I know it. I, yes, I do know the game. I've seen Brady do this before. Listen, it, this was a very hard game to pick somebody as player of the game. Matter of fact, it should have been a unit. It should have been it should have been Jameis Winston as the player of the game because he gave the game to the Tampa Bay. Hey, did, did you see the uh, comment? Did you see the comment from uh, I, I think it was uh, Devin, Devin White? White? Yes, After the game, yes. he's like, we knew we'd get the ball back. <laughs> we knew we'd listen, be able to get the ball back. This is on – if you want to give it to Mike Evans, that's fine. He actually was playing well before he he got ejected. The problem with the Saints was they stopped running the football. They were gashing Tampa Bay early in this game. Like Mark Ingram, um, I don't even know who the backup is. Uh, what, what's his Dwayne Washington? Like they everybody on their team that ran the football was averaging four yards a carry, average five yards a carry as a team, and they stopped running the ball in the second half. And they tried to have Jameis Winston go out and win it. And so he had to end up throwing the ball 40 times. And this is the problem with Jameis Winston. This is the problem with the New Orleans Saints. If they want to win, they need to understand what their team is. Run the ball first, play solid defense, get be effective on play action. And Jameis Winston threw the ball way too many times. They stopped running the football. They were gashing Tampa Bay early in this game. And yes, it didn't result in touchdowns, but they were moving the ball and then Jameis would turn the ball over. And That, um, James did not play well. I expect them to bounce back, but they, the, the Saints and a lot of these teams, they just got to stop thinking their quarterback is the end-all, be-all. When you have something that's effective, I said this last week in Dallas, Ezekiel Elliott was dominating that football game early, running the football, and they stopped running him, and they tried to put the ball in Dak's hands, and they played right into what Tampa wanted them to do. Tampa runs press coverage against receivers that they feel like can't get open, Mike Thomas could not get open. He he was having a, a tough time with Carlton Davis. Um, who's the other? Jarvis Landry couldn't get off of press coverage. Chris Olave couldn't get off of press coverage. And so by that time, the pass rush is there, creates Jameis into bad throws, and you get turnovers. This is exactly what they did to Dallas, knowing when receivers are not explosive. 
When you don't have explosive guys on the outside, Tampa is going to run press coverage. They are going to let their guys get after you and force your quarterback into tighter windows and create turnovers. Back-to-back weeks now, teams had success running the football in the first half, stopped in the second half, and lost the football game to Tampa Bay, whose offense has not looked very good over two weeks. But they found ways to win because they outcoached the other team. And that's exactly what happened again yesterday. Um, and then you have Brady to make plays when it matters most, and he did. So the, the Saints, to me, again, kind of cost themselves in this one. Um, I thought they should have ran the ball more. I thought Ingram and Dwayne Washington, those guys looked good, but they stopped running the ball. Are you concerned at all with the with the New Orleans Saints? Um, if they're going to let Jameis do what he did yesterday, maybe they just didn't feel like they could run as much because of Alvin Kamara. But not not really. Um, division game against Tampa, they lost. Like it, they're one and one. They snuck one in week one. They need to play better. Um, the defense played great yesterday. Like I know the Buccaneers scored seventeen in the fourth quarter, but a lot of that's turnovers, and you can't, you know, you get short fields and you're on the field a lot. But their defense played great for the majority of that game, and their offense gave them no help. So uh, I think the Saints will be okay. They're, they're probably not number five in my power rankings now because I've seen some some chinks in the armor. But um, I still think they'll be okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough.